Previously, on Less Than Kind. What the fuck did you just say to me? I love you? Oh! Okay! You're mad! That's cool! Chandra, will you marry me? Yes. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. Your dad left a pretty big hole in this family. Oh, you may be a boy. What brings you by? Well, I heard about Sam. So, is this Take this opportunity to express our condolences on here's some cookies. Oh, like it was back in business? Oh, yeah! Oh, my God! You might be hiring. Well, I mean, you might be living. <laughs> a few short weeks from now, you will be marching out of this school together for the last time. A year from now, you could be a thousand miles apart. Where are you guys going to university? I'm not going to university. I'm going to work this summer, then I'm going to go travel. Where? Where? Iceland, bitches. What about Scotland? India. Are you going? I am now. Yeah! All right! Okay, so we're all agreed. Yes, uh, wherever it lands a year from now. A year from today. That's where we're gonna be. You didn't miss much. <laughs> you were amazing. <laughs> oh, so sweet. Oh, what is wrong with you? It's not working. Look, I'm trying to take the picture, and look. I called myself again. Why would someone put these two things together? It's like marrying a horse and an orange. Why don't you just get in the picture with the kids? Can I? Fuck no. First team only. Don't cry. Oh, no, no. She's so young. It's all ahead of them. It's great. <laughs> okay, take the picture. <laughs> sorry, sorry. And three, <laughs> two, one. All right, so 15 day return policy with your receipt. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to see inside your bag. Give it here. As I suspected, you're under arrest. Guess what? I'm a special salesman constable. <sighs> Am I in big trouble, special sales constable? You better believe it. How come you're not in school? How old are you anyway? Only 15. I'm only 19. That's what I thought. Still really young, but old enough to know way better. Come uh, along! No, please. Please don't tell my parents. Oh. No, please. I'll do anything. Anything. So are you going to? Shoplift from this store again? No, no, no. Keep going. Keep talking. Uh, why? You, no one steals on my watch. That is something you young girls have to learn. If you ever want to come in this store again, where I work, uh, when you steal, the price goes up, and then it gets passed on to the customer. Oh, that was fantastic. Thank you. I only hope, did it, um, it, it, did it take too long? No, no, that's OK. I learned a lot. Oh, good, good. I mean, pretend shoplifting is, is kind of fun for you and me, but it's actually a very serious problem. It must be. OK, well, goodbye. Wait, Clara. Clara? 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 
Clara! Oh, what? I hope I get to see you again soon. I know. And up above us all Leaning into sky Our golden business boy Watch the north and die And sing I love this town then let his arcing wrecking ball proclaim I hate Winnipeg This is, uh, inspired. Have another hit. Okay, just keep a lookout. Why? No one's coming. It's, it's like 300 degrees out. <laughs> Dude! You said you'd call us! Aboriginal people living in the surrounding settlement would stop at the fort in the summer oh, yeah. months to trade, well. sell goods, <laughs> or visit relatives. As you continue further down the trail, you will see three members of the Cree Nation building a TV. Evening sun is setting low on the dark where demons go escaping on the sky. We cannot light a fire without a spark. We're standing on the Spending all your nights inside the bar you sleeping in the lake No, I won't be your fate Get out of our room. Oh, our room. Interesting. So it is your room. No, Danny, it's your apartment. Thank you for letting us crash. Here. Well, you know what today is? It's the day after the seventh night you've crashed in this room. Really? Yeah, and seven nights in a week, so you're no longer crashing here. You are now shacking up at my apartment. And if you're going to stay... Why are you giving me an empty envelope? So you can put $400 in it. That's your share. What? <gasps> yeah, you guys want breakfast? Yeah. Sure. Then add six bucks. And we got to go get it because we're out of everything. Jim is taking the 12.30 lesson? Yes, we already talked about this. And Josh still refuses to work on his lunch hour? No, he's made it quite clear that he does not work for the driving school anymore. Gabor was unavailable? Nope. Well, you will deal with Jim, right? Yes. Because you forgot to last time. I'll ask him. I will. Was this your listing? Are you downsizing? No, it's for Josh and Chandra. What's, What's for us? us? The Andrews place. I think it's the perfect starter home for you two. It's right around the corner. Let's see. Ew. It's old. It's not that old, and they just added a nice new deck. Um, they added that when I was like four. Really? Yeah. I just don't understand what you're looking for. New -ish. New. Like this. Ocean View Estates. Pricey. It's on the other side of town. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Everyone's moving south. They're turning the north end into a giant garbage hill. They're not. I hope you're right. Where, 
where's your brother? Isn't he coming down for breakfast? He stayed at Danny's again last night. We gotta, we gotta go. go. Well, it's only eight. Don't you have time to eat? Places to see, Mom. Thanks, anyways. Bye. Bye. I made all of Shelton's favorites. You have to stop doing that. I know you're 18, legally, you can do what you like, but I expect a minimum courtesy when you're spending the night at a friend's. I'm sorry, it was late. I didn't want to wake you up. What makes you think I wasn't up all night waiting for you? Well, Mom, I have a phone. If you were worried, why didn't you call? You know, it's garbage day today. Right, I forgot. Yeah, well, you remember this household. It's not a hotel. You're right. I, I should have called. The next time, I'll, I'll call. Ow! What was that? Danny's couch bit me. Are you coming for dinner? If you are, let me know. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Dinner will be great. Thank you. There, was that so hard? No, no, it's just that I... Hey, honey. Jim. Oh, Claire said it was okay if I helped oh. myself. Hey. These waffles, they're unbelievable. How do you get waffles that taste like this? They're amazing. Oh, it's real buttermilk. Right? That's it? Fuck me, they're good. Oh, <laughs> uh, when do you get your cast off? Four to six weeks, they said, so six weeks. Coffee? Yeah, thank you. It's like a full service diner here. I'm coming <laughs> every day. Jim, have you been drinking today? No. No, I have not. I haven't had a drink for about four weeks and three days. That's great, because we don't want you to take another tumble. Or drive any of our cars while drunk. That's not going to happen. That will never happen, I swear to God. Okay? It's all good. Good. In that case, have a 10.30. I want Jim to take my 130. Why? I need to do some things. You mind? Yeah, I mean. No problem. Fine by me, too. Fine by me. Like a snail? Oh, Brazilian mahogany hardwood floor is the best! <laughs> yeah. Honey, this is. It's like 45 grand over our high end. Do you know where I'm standing, Josh? While you were talking, I went upstairs to our bedroom. Josh? Get the door. Our doors don't creak! What are you doing? I'm turning on your in-wall stereo system. Shoplifting? What are you gonna do about a pig? Cause I ain't going back to no juvie. Oh, wow. That's what I dykes will do to you. That was amazing, Clara. That is the best sex ever. Although technically, you know, you wouldn't be in juvie if you were 19. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah, but I, I didn't care. That's the thing. I just, you blew the socks off of my barn. Oh, nice to see you too. Clara, wait, can you wait for one second? I want to show you something. <gasps> this whole thing has been so amazing. So great. This whole role-playing thing, I just, I think it's, you've inspired me. Oh yeah. Clara, will you marry me? You're 
fucking mind? Oh. What? Herman, it's Josh from Manitoba Labels. How you doing, my man? How's your summer? Mosquitoes getting to you? <laughs> Listen, I was just checking your inventory and it looks like it's time to redo your monthly order. What do you say? Okay, excellent. Thank you for using Manitoba Labels. Dan, it's Josh from Manitoba Labels. How you doing, my man? How's your summer? Mosquitoes getting to you? <laughs> I hear ya. Listen, Dan, I was just checking the inventory and it looks like you are down on the number 20s. Time to re-up your order? What do you think? I'll call you back. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll hold for you. Wait a sec. I know you. Aren't you that actor from Thunder Bay OPP? I, uh... Holy cow! What are you doing here? I gave up acting. Why? Gotta grow up sometime. Right? Hi, this is Gorin calling from Manitoba Labels. How are you today? Davis, hot enough for you? Huh? I'm dying from it. Dying. Well, anyway, Davis, I've got a great deal for you today. Huh? <laughs> Thank you for using Manitoba Labels. Hi, this is Gordon calling from Manitoba Labels. Oh, yeah. You, you notice that too? Oh, yeah. No problem. We oh, begin the summer by next week. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Great. 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 I'm on a hold. And I like waking up with you. I like waking up with you too. And dude, let's do this. What do you think your parents will say when you ask them? Well, I'm not going to ask them. I'm going to tell them. Jesus, Sheldon, we're 18. We're adults now. Yeah, just do it. I need to think about this. What's there to think about? You're going to be together in Europe anyway. Staying in hostels, you're going to have to have quiet sex when we're there. This will give you a chance to practice quiet sex. And you two need to practice that. Yeah, but we're not getting to Europe if we keep spending money. Xboxes, party snacks, 600 for rent. Just do it. Just do it, yeah. I'll just move in and forget that we're supposed to be saving up for Europe. Exactly. Marry him, he's gonna do it. No, 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 no. Danny, you have a problem with impulse control, and now you've got Miriam doing the exact same thing. We have to have this. What? Oh my god, this is perfect. Sheldon Gravenant. Why? Because we're gonna carry this home. No. I know you guys are gonna get this thing like three blocks from here, and then you're gonna bail. I am. Let's prove this sorry sack of shit wrong. You know you're gonna bail. Sheldon. You're gonna bail. Just do it. All right. One. <sighs> okay. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, uh, give me a chance to grab one. Wait. <laughs> okay. I've had my eye on you for a while. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I bet you'll be with us for a long time. Honey, congratulations! You got an office with a door. It's something, isn't it? Do you get a raise, too? Technically, yeah. Oh, my God! It's a sign. What? I put a deposit down today on Ocean View. What? We can't afford that. I know, but we almost can. And look what happened when he did it. You got an office with a door. It's a sign! <gasps> You're right. It's a sign. That's right. It's a sign. Kiss me.
couple more blocks, guys. What are you doing? Oh, my oh of course. I know. Oh, you're right. This is a good place to bail. I'm bailing. Resting. I might be bailing. What? My arms are so sore. No, no, no. It's okay. You guys tried. Oh, fuck off, Blecker. What's up your ass? Look, guys, just hear me out, okay? I, I know you don't want to hear this, but let me just put a, a radical idea out there, okay? I know the apartment's fun, but, but this is about prioritizing. So let's just think, Danny, about maybe giving up the apartment. Freddy! Hey, guys. Hey, Freddy. Quiet. Sheldon's making one of his speeches. Cool. I love Sheldon's uh, speeches. It's not a speech, okay? I, I just think we're losing sight of our goal to get to Europe. Sure. So that means we've got to really stay focused on that trip, and we need to save money every way we can. Do you agree? So guess what? That means being responsible, okay? Uh, and, that, and that way we can we can focus. And for Europe to focus, sorry, if we priority for not housing now, and um, and we need to focus. Uh, Cause you know. Uh, hmm. Hey, hey! Wasn't that your joint? I nah, don't worry about it. No more. Dad! Sorry, I'm late, honey. <sighs> what? The last thing I want to do is to scare you. I, uh, I feel like I freaked out a bit earlier, and I, I just wanted to apologize. What? By breaking into my house? Door was open. How do you even know where I live? I followed you home once. <laughs> no, totally, totally not stalking in a stalking way. I... Oh, good. How long have you been here? Well, not long. I, uh, did all your dishes, and, uh, and then I, I just, I hung out, I waited. And now you're here. Gary. I know. Oh, please don't do that. You know what? I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm gonna do it right this time. I'm gonna do it on bended knee. He says to the girl, you're only 19, so I should be asking your parents this. <laughs> I know, joke, joke, joke. Okay, so now, moving on. Here we go. Oh God, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> Will you marry me? I'm not leaving until I get a yes. <clears throat> I don't know about anybody else, but I'm on pins and needles over here. Uh, okay. Hi. H who are you? I want to start with you. Well, I, I mean, obviously, I'm Clara's boyfriend. Clara's boyfriend? Yeah, I want to tell him Clara. <clears throat> what do you mean? Oh, God, God, God. Is, uh... Is this your husband? No. No. My name's Jim Sheridan. I just work with... Uh, Clara. With Clara, right. Ah. <clears throat> Why don't we just all sit down at the table and just start figuring things out a little bit? <laughs> Wicked. Would okay, Jim. Um, you know, I was kind of in the middle of something here, bro. And uh, you kind of crept my style. Gary, I'd really like Jim to stay. Well, why don't you take the head of the table? Right here? Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Clara, maybe you could. Just bring me up to speed. Oh, Claire and I, Claire and I, Claire, Claire and I are in love. Who is this guy? Oh, Gary, I thought oh, you God. understood. It was just sex. <clears throat> what? Uh, just. <laughs> uh, what? Just sex? <laughs> just sex? Did. Yeah, well, I got a sense here that maybe, just maybe, we've reached the end of the line with this one. I think that you should, um, you know, stay out of this. No. Yeah, yeah, because you, you know, listen, because, buddy, you're like about this big, and Claire and me, we're like giants, buddy. We're going to build cities. I just think that you should go and rain on somebody else's parade, because I think... What? <laughs> Gary. Oh. 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 
Gary. Look at me. Look at me. Gary? Oh. Look at me. Come on, Gary. <sighs> what is it? Meds? Coke? Uh. Right? Yeah. It's Coke? Yeah. Okay. I know what we do. Blondies. What? Great hamburgers, great french fries. I didn't get a chance to get any lunch today. Come on, let's go get something to eat, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna take Gary over to Blondie's. Oh, have you got a sponsor? Well, he fired me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it, would he come if you invited him? Yeah. Okay, meet me in the car. Yeah. Clara? Car's right up front. Yeah. That ship box up there. <clears throat> Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. No, no, no. Everybody makes mistakes. So sorry, I completely forgot. I'm such an idiot. Sure, sure. Oh, and uh, just so that you know, I think I might uh, crash here tonight. That's nice. Great. But, Mom, are you okay? Mom? to be here. <laughs>